names are Imole Oluwa Balogun and uh, Toby Loba as well. Uh, most people call me Toby as well. Okay, my name is Barrett Apukabai. I'm a professional photographer um, residing here in Keja. My name is Baba Femi Ojo. Uh, the name of my business outfit is Pinnacle Adventure. My name is Rabbi Sherif Adiola. Yeah, the name of my business is New Dawn Photo Studio. My name is Shen Waki Uh The nature of my business is mostly photography related. Um, I take pictures and they go on to be transformed into other things as well, for adverts, for uh, music related stuff, for promotion and quite a lot of things as well. I do advertising photography, fashion, editorial, and um, still life photography. Well, the, the business started around 2001. Uh, we started from this very place, and by the grace of God, this is where we are right now. We started from using one small camera, I mean the, uh, the film camera, and gradually we graduated into using a digital camera. Not only do photography jobs, but we also train people that want to come into this industry. Alongside consulting also for people that want to come into the photography industry, whether as vendors, as print labs, or frame makers, or any other aspects. Um, started way back. Um, I can't really put a date on it, but I would say professionally, uh, that would be three years. But right from school, um, Originally, I used to major in graphic design and it got to a point where, you know, you're like, okay, what's the way forward and kind of thing. You think of like exploring other um, avenues as well. So I just thought, well, photography is like the, the other second love that, you know, that I kind of like have basically. So I thought, well, you know, why not just go professional and go pro with this? I previously used to be a lecturer in Yaba College of Technology in uh, School of Art Design, Art and Design. I um, was in Department of Graphics where I head the photography department. 2008, I resigned from Yaba Tech to pursue a career in photography fully. Well, the business has been in existence for say eight years, but uh, for the first four years, I was doing it part time. I had a full, I had a full time job, but I was doing it part time. But for the last four years. I've been involved in it full time. But basically, I can say the business has been existing for the past eight years. Yes, I started photography as a result of the fact that I worked with a Phototech uh, as a manager in one of their branches in the Epitemeta Symmetry Road. So that was where I got the formal training and uh, I started it on my own. When I got back to Nigeria after my education there back in 2001, I realized that there was actually scarcity of jobs, you know, here. And I fell in love with photography, uh, came back and decided that this was what I wanted to make a living out of. My major source of motivation would be passion uh, because I really like what I do. Um, photography is something that we see every day and it's like a way of like documenting uh, memories or like more or less like capturing memories and storing them somewhere to like view later on. So I'd, I'd still say passion. Then any other thing would probably be the reward from whatever you get or the reward from passion. So it's like even if it's monetary, if it's like um, the accolades, if it's like the encouragement and everything, all these things starts up like um, they serve as like a motivator more or less. What motivates me is the desire for excellence. Um, growing up or looking at images as uh, working as a graphic artist or graphic designer. I think uh, one of one of the things that drive me to do more is. Uh, after a good job and you give it to a client and he's happy with it, the smile brings to those clients, you know. That's one of my passion. I always 
I, when I'm doing anything, when I'm doing any job or I take up any contract, I'm looking forward to the day I give the client a job and the smile it brings to their face, the happiness it brings to them. Yes, it's a passion. I really, it's, you know, it's, it's what you love doing. I derive joy in taking pictures, going to events, taking pictures. It, is, it always gave me pleasure doing it. Uh, the truth is most of the pictures that I enjoy taking the most have actually not been the one that have been paid for the most. For example, I love, I love coming up with concepts uh, that will depict some of the values that I believe in. For example, there was a picture, my number one model, by the way, is my daughter, Anu. There was a picture in which I posed that, in which she was slicing onions, and there was a mountain of onions. And we all know that if you are faced with onions, the normal thing that most people do, if you are normal, is to shed tears in front of onions, right? So we depicted a scenario in which she was wearing goggles, and the idea was, look, when life gives you onions, don't cry, wear goggles, you know, protect yourself. So most of the creative concepts that are uh, I've done in time past, I've actually not really been paid for. For me, I didn't, I didn't really go to school to learn this. Like I said originally, um, before, um, I used to be a graphic designer. I still am, but um, I got my camera and from there, I kind of like, you know, practiced, took some pictures. I wasn't so good at it, but at the end of the day, developing myself and, I, I figured out I could do a couple of things and when I was in school um, we just did like a two weeks module on photography. I realized that the pictures we got from abroad were so much more different in quality and arrangement than the pictures that I saw in, in, in uh, Nigeria and I realized that it just wasn't because of the equipment or just because of the difference in approach and I, and I realized it was possible for us to get to that level. And since then, when I found that it was possible that Nigeria produced pictures as good as any other pictures in the world, I wanted to be part of that experience. And that's what drives me to produce quality images that can stand anywhere in the world. Um, I think, I believe that you have to be talented to a certain extent in photography. Then before you acquire the technical skills, you must have an eye or what I like to call a visual vocabulary. Uh, that is the ability to create images in your head. I think for, for photography, you, you different ways you can, there, there, are, there are few schools in Nigeria here that do training for photography. You know, but for me, I learned, it was, I learned more on hands-on. I found myself in it and I, I wouldn't say I found photography, photography found me. You know, I, somebody introduced me some equipment, from some photography equipment. From there, we started doing events. You know, I usually get people to do those things, to take the pictures and all that, but as time goes on, I, I, I was seeing things differently from what they were doing, you know. I picked up the camera, I started taking pictures, and I was, find myself doing things differently than when every other person was doing, you know. So for, I think practice, yes, and also I got my skills from checking other people's jobs. I go online, a lot of tutorials out there, you know. I look at those tutorials, I did some online courses. I did some courses in uh, GSOP's School of Photography in the UK. I learned some things there also, talking to some colleagues, learning from people that have, been, that have gone ahead of me, you know, trying to find out why they were doing the things they were doing. So there are different ways of learning photography. But for in Nigeria, there are, I don't, like, there's really no big name, big school where you can go to photography and learn. You know? It's more like hands-on and all. But in my heart, I felt this is what I really wanted to do. One of my goals for starting Hello Photos then was to prove to people, especially starting with my family, that this was something I can make a living out of that I can, I told them the word I used then, that I won't just be a normal photographer, I'll be a psychedelic photographer. I usually recommend being an apprentice with a photographer for a minimum of three to six months. That is if you are considering this as a career. Um, for me, as um, I'm more of a, how do I call it now? I'm more of a product, uh, like, what's the word, commercial band photographer, then 
more of like fashion as well. So most of our things don't usually get printed, except if they get printed on magazines and things. Or if I eventually have to like cover for a wedding, then I'd have to go to the printers myself and get albums printed and probably go to the frame guys and get frames as well. But generally, most of them tend to live on the screen or on people's mobile phone and things like that. Yeah, well, it's, um, it's, it is a big industry, you understand? Um, from IT, getting your images online to the framing companies, to printing industry, to the print, you know, from print to web, they're all part of uh, um, our industry, really, to advertising and everything, advertising, media, entertainment, it's all part of what we do. Yeah, we work with four different labs. We want with PhotoLab to print, so for instance, something like this, to print that we need to go to a lab, we print the lab. Then when it comes to binding it, we buy our materials locally. Uh, like the leather we use, we source them locally from Mushi and all that. We buy the gums from Mushi and basically that's it. Yes, I, I worked with, uh, I, I did not actually work with any other industry apart from this industry, but I have a very good knowledge of printing right from, from Phototech and um, printing of uh, all sides of pictures. I'm aware of the, uh, the clusters, but then again, uh, most of us don't get to see each other or we don't get to like meet, except it's just like a general consensus and you're like, oh, uh, you're on the mainland today, like, yeah, I'm on the mainland too. And nobody can actually like pinpoint what particular reason they're like on the mainland for or why the creative like um, industry or photography industry is here. But I think, I think um, the major factor will probably be space and like um, maybe the cost as well. It doesn't cost so much to run a business on the mainland, particularly Ikeja or like this suburb, um, as much as it is to like um, run a business in uh, VI, Lekki and places like that. I mean, you have to get the building, then you have to start worrying about transporting yourself back to the mainland, if you live on the mainland and things like that. So I find coincidentally, I mean, if I was advising people to come in, I usually advise move to Ikeja, you know, move to Ikeja, you know, uh, when we're at school, comparative studies in economics where when uh, more businesses come together, it makes it easier and you know, we actually draw a bigger market out. So for that, I've always encouraged people to come to Ikeja, but I personally grew up in Ikeja. You know, this is my area. I, you know, I went to school around here, at church, my family lives around here. That's why I'm in Ikeja, not because, but then um, even with that realization, it's nice that there's such a collection of other professionals around me. So anytime we're in problems or trouble, it's easy to get help or get uh, assistance. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. And I think one of the reasons why you find a lot of photography outfit here is, you know, with, you know, Nigeria here, mostly, we work a lot with agencies, advertising agencies, uh, media houses, event companies and all that, you know. So if you look at it, a lot of them are in the Keja here, around the Keja, Antonio and all that, you know. So of course, as that, me being your client, you try to be as close to them as possible. So that's one of the reasons why you find us, a lot of us around this area. Yes, concentration of photographers in the Keja. Yes, I'm aware of that. In fact, uh, even up to Agigi, we have a lot of photographers around here. The, the major challenge would be power supply. I mean, when you guys got here, you see there was like practically no lights, more or less, and I had to switch on the gen. The other challenge would be the clients themselves. Um, some people kind of like have the habit of not valuing photography. They don't see anything. I mean, they don't see more than just pictures. Um, I'd say one of the challenges of well, being a photographer here is like value as well and quality. Um, the, the corporate world here don't think the, the creatives we have down here can actually produce something as good as 
what their counterparts in other countries can actually produce, which is a bit sickening and saddening because, I mean, right now we have like the latest cameras, we have high-end stuff, and a lot of young people and business owners and entrepreneurs are putting in a lot of effort to bring in you know, this equipment to the country so that we can actually benefit as well and we can use them to our own, you know, our own good, uh, to us, our own satisfaction as well. Um, for me, I've, um, well, through an advertising agency, um, DM2, I've had to do like a job for Sprite. And till today, people still don't believe that it was done here because to them, they don't really think, I mean, something like that could be achieved here. And I'm like, you know, all these things can be done here. You just need the right people. You need the right idea. You need to sit down and, you know, like build these things, not call someone up and say, okay, tomorrow we're shooting so, 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 and so, and you need to make it happen. This, this shoots that are done abroad are properly planned. And if people can actually sit down here as well and plan these things, I think we'll be able to like achieve even better stuff than, you know, than they can do outside. Obviously there. One of the challenges facing Nigerians or uh, our industry is corporate individuals or companies believe in foreigners, believe that foreigners will do a better job or just simply prefer the fact that they can charge higher if they say they are going abroad to do it. But what they don't realize is they're doing that at the detriment of their own industry, you know? Because there's nothing like having your professionals on hand to deal with your problem, your problems as they as they arise, you know. And this is this is what major uh, majority of our fund, the funds that should come to us or professionals that develop the industry and develop our country is going to outsiders. In addition to this, um, funding, equipment, um, equipment maintenance, you know. We buy these expensive cameras, and if there's a fault, there's really nowhere for us to. We still have to send them abroad again. One, two. Our colleagues and contemporaries abroad don't have to buy all the equipment at once. Um, they can have them on lease, or they can rent them per job. But here, you have to hold your your equipment, so it makes it difficult for photographers to grow because these equipments are ridiculously expensive and so the lenses that you will buy for 350,000 naira that you don't get to use maybe like twice a year you know why do you need to own that lens the photography business is a little bit capital intensive you know uh, you need a lot of capital to buy a lot of equipment Our equipments are quite expensive so the, basically the challenge we have is a uh, uh, source of finance to buy this equipment. It will be a lot easier if you can get soft loans, so loans you can pay in a year too. You know, it will really help the business. But we don't have that, and also power. It's another challenge we have because of our lights. We need a lot of generators, you know, to to power the equipment. So I think those are the major challenge we have. Personally, I've seen, I, I don't agree with that. I, I don't see any reason why you should take your job outside. You know, before coming to that conclusion, I try to see things they do outside, you know, and the things we can really do here, and I can think we can even do better, you know. Yes, some of those countries have better equipment than we have here, for some reasons, I don't know. You know they have better equipment, but we are trying here in Nigeria. We have a lot of good equipment, and if it's compared to what they do abroad, what they go to do abroad to bring to Nigeria, with the little, little equipment we have here, if you see the difference, you actually see little or no difference. So I believe, given the right opportunity, given the right uh, chance, you know, we should be able to do better than they do abroad, they do outside there, you know, if we're not already doing better than they, they are doing, you know. So I don't think any, anybody should take their job outside. We can do it here in Nigeria. Uh, right now, one of the challenges we are facing in the business right now is our electricity. We, we, uh, we, most of the time we are on generators from, the, from morning to evening, we run generators. And so it's of recent now that we have labs coming into Ogba. Or before we normally go to as far as the Keja. Sometimes we go to Victoria Island to print 
pictures? Uh, one of the challenges you know I faced, especially when starting out, was I realized that it's one thing to actually make a good picture. It's another thing to have a finished you know product vendor help you present that appropriate name by saying that I'm referring to sometimes the printers. The the entertainment industry have been. I've been supporting uh, the photography industry in a way, I mean, uh, by providing jobs. That's like one of the major things. Then the other supports, I'm not too sure, uh, maybe from the fashion industry as well. Colleagues as a um, social network, you know, uh, we support ourselves, equipment, information, and maybe pricing. You know, a colleague is having the, the difficult client or, or or a client has had bad experience, a colleague will advise you, please, when you're dealing with this client, take note of this and that, while you're dealing with this client. The major, major support is area of equipment. You understand? The first thing, equipment. There's a... Um, because here we rely on importers, uh, our lawyer, computer village to bring equipment. And the importers only bring equipment that will make the most money, that will be most popular. That this thing. So little accessories, filters, and gadgets might, might not be popular. They just make will make a work. They will not necessarily bring those those equipment because it might not be popular. So you find that um, if you if you don't have the opportunity to travel out, you know you're not going to be able to get some of those little filters, color gels, clamps, and everything that can make life really easier easier for you. Yeah, I think like I think one of the major things we can do to support our industries, if we get more of the jobs, we get more jobs, more big jobs, you know. As in relation to, related to when you compare the as in when you when you talk about taking jobs outside, you know, those jobs they take outside. If we can make make them stay in Nigeria, if we can do those jobs, it's going to help us. It's going to help us grow when we get more jobs, you know. Also, if we could get uh, a lot of soft loans, microfinance, whatever it is, I can give all soft loans, we should be able to do better. And also, uh, if uh, we could come up with more schools, you know, be it online training courses, hands-on courses, you know, more training for photographers in Nigeria, really help us a lot. In terms of support, well, I would like government, if government will come in to help us, maybe in the area of financing, helping us to secure loans from banks, soft loans which will not attract so much interest that will be easy for us to pay back. I think that, and the other way is that by making electricity to be very, very constant. I think those are the areas which the government can come in. Okay, uh, one of the major areas that I feel uh, this industry needs serious work is in the area where even all the photographers need to gather together and support one another. The other area that I feel that I will be able to get better support is the issue of camera manufacturers too. I feel when a company like Canon and Nikon, uh, as at the moment I am aware that a representative of Nikon is already in the, in the industry and they are doing their best to try to support the photography industry but if Canon can come on board too and let photographers know that look whatever you buy here will be able to give you I was checking recently in South Africa if you buy a Nikon product you get up to five years warranty even the company that is representing Nikon that we have here is only one year they give I mean nothing against them but at least they are trying but up to five years warranty most of the equipment that we have here we actually get directly from US and when they have issues, we have somebody going back.